There's no doubt that's who he is. For whatever reason, he may have always been a globalist. He may have always been bad news. I don't attack him when he said horrible lies about me. I mean, God, he said I have sex with Charlie Sheen in showers, folks. I, I, I knew Charlie Sheen very well before he got back on drugs and melted down. I met, met him through his brother, who's been a longtime listener, Emilio Estevez, and his dad. I'll leave it at that. The family were listeners before Charlie Sheen. And I've spent a lot of time at Martin Sheen's house. He's not the big liberal people think he is. They kind of manipulate the media who he really is. They're really smart people. His mother's an amazing lady. But that's the kind of stuff. And I, I ignore stuff like that. You know, you can say that's a joke. But then when he's always implying that I want civil war, want to kill police, and that I'm covering up racism, and that the Alex Jones side wants violence, as he said a week and a half ago, enough is enough. Because... You know, when he says any civil disobedience like we saw it at the Bundy Ranch is bad and he's against it and he's really showing you who he is when he said three years ago on Fox that we played this last week that the government's going to stage terror attacks and blame the liberty movement for it. Well, he had their memos. He's right. He was listening to me then. He was, I guess, having a moment of thinking, oh, I'm scared they're going to set me up and blame me. I'll expose it. Well, now, now he's scared and doesn't want to go the route of telling the truth. Benedict Arnold, who was a great general, who we wish would have stayed true to the cause, has cowarded out and decided to fully join the system. So, and he doesn't like the fact that we're in a lot of the same affiliates as him. And so I'm not against those affiliates. I think it's a good show for you to carry. But don't penalize me because Glenn Beck's talking bad about me every day now, basically. Okay, I'm not attacking anybody in the conservative or liberty movement. I'm trying to stop Obama and the globalists who use the race card. And now Beck, and I, I didn't hear it, but my reporter heard it and wrote down notes. And I guess you got to go to a subscription thing to get it, but somebody will put it on YouTube. And then we can play it for documentation here. But Knight wrote notes. He's got notes right there. His brother-in-law called him and heard it in the morning, so it re on our local affiliate, 590. So he tuned in last night while he was moving in the U-Haul and listened to it and wrote notes. And it, it was the, the classic stuff I've heard. What's that site? That crazy guy. Oh, I don't know. Infowars? Yeah, that nut. Yeah, guy that wants to overthrow the U.S. government, wants violence. Yeah, well, he knew about the Bundy stuff, tried to cover it up. Yeah, tried to cover up the racism. Man, that is real defamation, okay? We had nothing. We did absolutely no such thing at any level. And so this isn't about Beck. It's about what's going to happen when the globalists blow up in New Oklahoma City and try to blame us. What's going to happen when they start a new war? What's going to happen when they come after domestic groups and the guns? A lot of big hosts are going to say, well, go ahead and do it. And, well, Alex Jones has been arrested and Ron Paul just died of a stroke. Wink, wink. Well, I think it's normally died of a stroke. He was old and yeah, Rand Paul just was in a car wreck. His back's broken. Alex Jones, you know, tried, tried to shoot out with cops, and they took him out. Or he got caught with a bunch of drugs, with a, you know, whatever. That's the kind of stuff they do. I want you to know that when that happens, folks, you're looking at an enemy operative. Okay? Because now he's crossed the Rubicon with me. David Knight, you heard this last night, and again, it's bigger than Beck. It shows that he's scared. He's decided to throw in with the Southern Poverty Law Center, the exact talking points of the White House run Media Matters. No, Michael Savage isn't doing this. He's getting more hardcore. We salute him. He's not a coward. Sean Hannity's not being a coward. Rush Limbaugh's not being a coward. Glenn Beck has shown himself to be a really dangerous person. And I, I don't do this on air. I have to to protect myself in the liberty movement. David, what did you hear last night? Well, Alex, it, it was really, it really got me upset. As you point out, they, they were saying, pretending that they didn't know what InfoWars was or that they'd never heard of InfoWars. But what he's doing is he's playing a very dangerous game and he's totally mischaracterizing what happened there on Saturday the 12th. When this thing came out yesterday with the New York Times, he's essentially doing the Al Sharpton, Southern Poverty Law Center talking points, the way the New York Times edited and distorted and spun Bundy's comments. And he's doubling down on it, taking their talking points. But what was also bad was the way he was portraying Bundy, the people with him, and even us as being the aggressors, as being the people who are threatening. He's trying to pretend that he's Gandhi. He's not Gandhi. He's a Quisling. 
Uh, what happened there? Said, I mean, you told me, quote, yes. you said he said you know, the InfoWars group wants the violent overthrow. Yes. What he was saying was, he said, they're pushing for this. He goes, when I heard that it was, I knew from the beginning that I didn't want to, I want to be on the other side of the story because InfoWars made this a national story. He goes, that should be uh, a red flag. Not a false flag, ha, 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 no, but a red flag. It, I'm not yeah. blaming Drudge, I'm giving him the credit. Drudge right. made it a national story. We broke it, he made it national. Exactly. It is a big story. And he's saying that, you know, we're constantly pushing for revolution. I think that's not true. What happened there is exactly what Glenn Beck claims he wants to see happen. And that is peaceful people peacefully standing up with loaded guns in their face like Tiananmen Square. Now, some people, I didn't see anybody down there with a gun on them, but there were, well, actually, there was a couple of guys that were holding uh, rifles, but nobody but was there pointing were a few anything. back up there. There was one guy on the bridge. They keep showing that picture from multiple angles, okay? But the we point didn't know is, he was is there. that now it's been projected onto us, and now we weren't there this weekend when he made the, uh, this, the, the, uh, the, the black comments. Right. And then he, you said he said basically we were involved in that. He said, these guys are embedded there. They're everywhere. He goes, they know that he was making those comments last Saturday. Well, that was not even the same Saturday. He's not, he's, he's totally out of the no, no, scene. He's not wrong. Yeah. He, he had, I, know his, I know his insider people. He's got at least four FBI agents with him at all times. So-called retired. This is FBI. Yeah. He, just like Al Sharpton's FBI, I will bet my right arm the FBI is feeding all this to Glenn Beck. Glenn Beck is the FBI. So, so, of course, they're attacking us. This is the FBI, the Obama FBI. With the globalists making more and more advances into our freedoms every day and ruining our health care system, it's important to be able to take back control of our own personal health care. Colloidal silver water even fights against the new designer bugs. The best price is found anywhere, along with the highest quality. That's why you'll love silver creams and water from colloidalresearch.com. Silver's been used for thousands of years to fight against germs and bacteria because it works. Check it out for yourself at colloidalresearch.com. Com. That's colloidalresearch.com. Attention all radio listeners. Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners here today. Visit mycreditcardknife.com to see this covert knife in action and claim yours for free. It's the same knife you've seen in the airline magazines for $29.95, but today it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. MyCreditCardKnife.com, MyCreditCardKnife.com. Go now. Hi, folks. Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Hi there. My name is Frank Bates. What I'm about to tell you in the next 60 seconds could get me in a lot of trouble. I just created a free video presentation at 123coverup.com that exposes the electricity monopolies and government agencies for what they really are. Incompetent, lying crooks that are counting on your ignorance and fear to keep your power bills criminally high. Some have called this a conspiracy. Others have called it a cover-up, and you will be shocked to find out how deep the conspiracy goes. My video at 123coverup.com exposes the truth and shows you the secret of how I beat them and how you can beat them too. Watch the controversial video that thousands of other smart patriots have already seen in the last three months. Go to 123coverup.com and discover one weird trick to slash your power bill and protect your home. Go watch my video now at 123coverup.com before they force me to shut it down. Again, that's 123coverup.com. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. By the way, a lot of this has come out in the news that Beck has up to 20 security people at his house and office and goes around with an entourage, as many as 35. But he admittedly has, quote, retired FBI agents. The number I was given was over six, but four at any one time. 
that live at his house and stuff. And when you look at the talking points, these are White House. This is this is Eric Holder's Justice Department, Harry Reid talking points. And I started seeing that two weeks ago and got really freaked out, David Knight. Mm -hmm. And I said, man, and he was just waiting the whole time to then open up an attack. And now he and, and now I was sent by one of our affiliates the clip. We're getting it queued up. Uh, in fact, it, it's, it's ready right now. Part of this diatribe you heard saying we want revolution, we want violence. They're positioning him as a Judas goat to lead the liberty movement. I, it, it all just clicked. Yes. He is actually Benedict Arnold. He actually works for Obama. And I'm sorry I have to say that. He really does. They wasted no time at all. The day. Well, no, he was the leader even yeah. before the Southern Barbie Law Center. Oh, yeah. He's been he carrying the, the ball. He was putting the talking points out before the White House media matters. He had seven talking points the day after the shootout. It was the number one story. And when I Googled uh, Clive and Bundy, it was, that's why I read his story. Seven Our story was points. number one because of Drudge. That's right. But after the, after the standoff, what he did was he had a, a story out. There were seven talking points basically saying there's no connection to Harry Reid. The BLM acted perfectly reasonably. There's no problem with the desert tortoise. I mean, ignoring Agenda 21. and then It's sovereign citizen. Yeah. Using the Southern Poverty Law Center catchphrase. Exactly. The White House catchphrase. This is John P. Holdren. Yeah, yeah. I mean, John P. Holdren, Eric Holdren. Well, they had the article on Sunday after the Saturday showdown. And then on Monday, he had Clive and Bundy on and they tried to hang put words in his mouth and hang the label of sovereign citizen movement. By the way, has there not been a directive the full year you're here to not attack Glenn Beck and not talk about him? That's right. Have there been any other directives about anything else? No. And Just tell the truth. It was very hard and, to do that. And now. don't end fight and <laughs> keep the right. eyes on stopping the globalists. That's right. That's right. And how many attacks did we ignore? A lot. And, and you know. But I am not going to hear that I want a violent revolution so when the feds blow up another Oklahoma city, I get to blame. And this guy handled by, I'm telling you, it all just clicked just like I knew Reed was involved and, and they're scared. This guy, this guy probably actually meets with Obama. Yeah, it's not just Cass Sunstein saying that he's going to pit one group of alternative media against another. He says he's going to infiltrate it and lead it away like you talked about at Judas Code. Well, I'm telling you, folks, if something happens to me or Drudge or World Net Daily, Joseph Farah, it's now been declassified, was on the, Obama, uh, the Clinton hit list. Mm -hmm. was, and he's coming on the third hour today. And now you got all this internet censorship stuff coming up in the next hour. They're moving right now. Let me tell you who's real. World Net Daily, Drudge, InfoWars. People have shown who's on the right side, even like, even though he said he didn't like these comments, which I agree with you know, the way they're taken. Sean Hannity. I'm not saying he's perfect. The point is we're really finding out who's who, man. Let's go to this clip one of our affiliates uh, sent us of what you said you heard last night. Here's Beck. Quite honestly, some of the people from, uh, what's that stupid website's name? Uh, are you talking about the crazy yeah, conspiracy yeah. Infowars? Infowars. Mm -hmm. Because these guys were so deeply embedded with the Bundys, we thought, there's something wrong. Because if you're a spiritual a, person and you don't see these guys a mile away... That's a red flag, right? That's there. a real red flag, and it's not a false flag. <laughs> um, these guys are dangerous. They, they, they are looking for revolution. They're looking for a fight. And you just keep those guys a million miles away from you. And anybody with any spiritual radar should see that one coming. That's right. If you have spiritual radar, you know that, that, that his lie that we want violence is true. Now, we're defensive, saying we just want private property, our family, Second Amendment. We just want states' rights. We just want freedom. We don't want Agenda 21. We just want liberty. And then the other clips are we're racist, too. So, You know, he keeps talking about Ghana. He keeps talking about peaceful, nonviolent resistance. That's exactly what we did. The fact that you've got somebody with a six-shooter in his holster walking up to somebody that's got an AR-15 trained on him, hiding behind shields, barking over the loudspeaker that they're going to shoot. That is peaceful, non- Look, you know when Obama makes his move, Beck's going to support it. Oh, yeah. In fact, something just clicked. He talked about how... If they ever had courts, I would Thank want to put him in a FEMA camp. I just realized something. He looks Visit forward GCN to them arresting me. Today. Man, that's, he, he projected on me. Yeah. He wants to arrest me. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine.
Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base. Nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield Nascent Iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield Nascent Iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139.